Over the past few years, Michigan State University has seen an increasing number of students choosing to move off campus after their freshman year. So we're really focusing this year with Residence Life and Campus Living Services, Culinary Services to try to make sure that we uh, can provide a good product for students so that they want to, they choose to come back to the residence halls after their first year. If this trend continues, MSU residence halls may see some drastic changes. Well, I guess we could get to a point where uh, if the numbers got low enough, we would need to make some tough decisions about the, the size of our housing system and things of that nature. Changes have been made around campus to encourage students to live on. Well, we're doing a number of different things. I would say that the one thing that we're doing that has really a, probably the most significant impact just looking at numbers is trying to renovate our facilities. And we have gotten, over the last couple of years, we've renovated a great deal. Students on campus live closer to the things they want and need. It's nice being close to your classes and it's just like a convenient place to live. I mean, everything is right where you need it to be. The Department of Residence Life reports they have seen an increase in returning students following renovations. And as we've brought buildings back online after renovation, we see the numbers of students that choose to live there just go through the roof. For the past few years, MSU has been renovating dorms across campus to have a more modern look like Holden, for example. However, some students say they prefer the old architecture, like in West Circle. I love the older look. I guess that was the reason, too, why I picked this place. Um, I don't know, I just think it's really pretty, like with the ivy growing on the sides, and it just seems more like, just seems more homey when it's like older and like antique -y. Yeah. Route 33. MSU Union. Regardless of how the dorms look, some students say living off campus is the best choice for them. I just pretty much wanted to kind of like do my own thing and be more independent. And However, there are some drawbacks. Students who stay on campus uh, earn higher grade point averages at every class standing than those who move off campus. They also tend to graduate in four years at a much higher rate than those who live off campus. I mean, I used to go to way more classes, now it's like a struggle. Living in West Circle, you can go right to the library or to the union um, and just always have a quiet place to study. While the university doesn't believe they can keep students for four years on campus, they hope to convince them to stay at least through their sophomore year. We don't really think about ourselves as competing with off-campus. We agree that students get to a point where they want to be more independent, they want to move off-campus, they want to have a different experience, and that's okay. We just want to make sure that when they do that, they're kind of grounded academically. Some students say they were ready to leave the dorms, while others feel they left too soon. I just wanted to be more independent and um, as far as the whole like cooking situation, even though sometimes it can be a pain, like I really like cooking for myself. Really, like I wasn't gonna sign a lease from someone with my dorm, like so you're like pretty much you like go with the people you know, and then I don't know. I just feel like it's too like soon and rushed. To keep this from happening, those in charge of dorm life are continuing to renovate dorms, giving students more options and independence. <laughs> for Focal Point, I'm Jessica Brown.